Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And I know that I haven't uploaded in my I mean um well that's because I have been well I wouldn't say I've been busy. Like I don't know what I've been well being busy on a Saturday because after party got on so it was being quite hard to film on a Saturday. And then on Sunday I I just been I was being chilling, I just having chilled down or something. But anyway, I'm back. And <laughs> um, so, what we're going to be doing today, or what I'm going to be doing today, is we're going to be talking about foods to avoid with braces. So, um, with braces, you have to avoid quite a lot of food. And it's quite sad to be for you because. Like two weeks after I got my braces, yeah. My brother got a gift. What a present sent to him with like a lot of food from my hair. And got the Jolly Bantry name. Um, what was it named? Swedish food made. And it was so sad. But yeah, I'm really excited to have food so good. So this video is probably going to be a short one. I've got a list here. Yeah. And um, so number one is rice. Now rice is it isn't that bad to eat, but it's like the little grains inside. Like just like the grains just get stuck all in your places in the back of the and all in the wire and it's honestly disgusting. Obviously, all hard sweets, no weak on sweets. It's been very starry, it's been teller, and Jolly Ranchers, and the Jolly Ranchers. The first time I've ever been in the place, we are the next time I've ever been in the place. So, and, well, So, is it number five? Yeah, number five is. I would avoid sriracha. Like, if you don't know what sriracha, you don't know what sriracha is, it's this um, red sauce and it's stained with that. If you don't brush, it makes it very tasty. What's in the name? Stained. Oh, there's another one that can't remember. Uh, yeah, sriracha is just stained. Like, I had it all on my skin, so I was going to put it on the side I need to brush. See straight after me. I don't like to just watch them. Yeah, I was. Always I will avoid them. Same as the other food. So another one is cheese. I don't mean like normal blocks of cheese. I don't mean anything. I mean melted cheese and on pizza. Because it gets all wrapped around your wires and wrapped around your bracket. And let me tell you, it's a nightmare to get out of your bracket. Oh my god, it gets wrapped around your eyes, or at least for me, like it does, because I've got still gaps in the video, and it's the cold off, the cold off, and so on, it's a good thing, and it's horrible, and so if you go out to something like Pizza Hut, then I would not, I wouldn't go to Pizza Hut anymore, because it's horrible, and you can see a little bit, no. number six, I would avoid smoothies with seeds in, Right, so what I mean by this is, say if you have strawberries and you have like little seeds in them, I would avoid that just because like all the little tiny seeds, say if you've got gaps in the you could get stuck in there. And I don't really like smoothies with tea, but I've heard some people getting all seeds stuck in the gaps in the tea. I just don't like that. Yeah, so I don't like smoothies and another one that's similar to that is fruits with seeds in them, so kiwi, strawberry, how's this one? <laughs> um, next one I would avoid is chew. So, yeah, again, you can call chew in them. So, yeah, I would avoid that. Um, I think it's quite obvious that I would really avoid really it because it just sticks to all the back and you know, it's not really nice, to be honest. 
No, okay, I'm just an obvious one. Um, and next one, anyways, if you like me and you like broccoli, it's hearty. You can't eat it like, all the time because it's not the stem anymore. It is like all on top of it. Looks like a tree. And um, um, but yeah, only the little green bit you get stuff everywhere and everywhere. And that's good. Green stuff in the little bit. So I would avoid it if you're out, but if you're at home, I would spend that with mine. No, just finish it. Just brush your feet, and if you have a water bottle, you can use it. Next one is cake. Now, cake is a bit like bread, like it gets mushed up all in your wires and your breath hurts. Or just, uh, I don't really like cake myself, I like ice cream cake and ice cream cake. But, um, yeah, if you like cake, I would avoid that. Um, I know that it's painful because, say, you go into a party and it's cake, they would most likely like it. My favourite's chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, but, in any other cake, I don't like Anyway, yeah, I would avoid it because you get all stuff all around. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Next one is ice. Ice, um, if you eat ice, I wouldn't because it, if you chew then it's obviously hard, it's going to break off your breath. But I'm just going to eat it and I'm going to eat it that makes sense. Like, it's one of them. It could be rocky graphic and uh, I personally want to do it just because it will be free as well if you didn't have that off. Okay. Um, next one is Apple's Hot Cold. Now you could make it with probably family but I wouldn't bite into one because there's no kids. Yeah, a lot of these are like you just put the wrappers on the stain in there. Um, that's why I wouldn't eat it. And then um, another one that's the same, but chicken wings. I wouldn't bite into chicken wings. <laughs> like, all your chicken just gets stuck. Or you could get underneath the wrapper and then you'll end up with white spill. That's my biggest fear. That's why I don't bite into these. I always have to cut all my food. Um, and then another one that's the same, but chicken wings. I wouldn't bite into chicken wings. Like, all your chicken just gets stuck. Or you could get underneath the wrapper and then you'll end up with white spill. That's my biggest fear. And I have quite a few ideas what I'm going to do as well, so and you comment what videos that you want to see as well and comment what food you wouldn't eat with this. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Bye!